Right, I'm over here trying to straighten up this garage a little bit before I start doing a little work up in here. I'm actually trying to, this is what I'm working on right now. I'm actually working on this on it's like a, it's a, not a box fan, but you see I, I was showing this fan over here. That fan there is just so big, it's an industrial fan, and that thing is so loud. And this fan here, my buddy, JR gave me that this fan. He has one at his shop. It's dirty and stuff, so he gave it to me. I'm just gonna make a platform for it. And um it goes really cool there. And I'm gonna actually just hook that up. I hope you guys can hear me because I got the camera turned around the opposite direction. I apologize about that. But that's what I'm working on right now. So hey, we still got Mo Mo over here the shot dog. He's Hang out with me. This is my boy here, man. This guy. Mo, what's up, buddy? You tired? You been asleep all day? It's time to do some work, boy. It's time for us to get get to it. Get it done. Hey. It's time to get it done, man. Can't be sleeping all day. Hey, it's me, the cigar man. I haven't smoked a cigar in a couple of days, guys. I, I'm slacking. I'm slacking, man. Hey, but hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. And we're about to get into episode 13 of the 1953 panel truck build. Hey, and welcome to the channel if you are new, guys. So we got a lot of stuff going on. Make sure you guys go back to my other builds, catch up, so you guys won't be lost, you know, um, where we at. Okay, so right now, I'm going to take a, you know, little short video. Actually, I'm, I'm going to do a short video um, just on some pieces that I actually forgot. I had to go back and, um, I mean, I didn't forget to paint them. I just actually forgot to do a little video on it. So this video isn't going to be that long. It's on my splash guards and uh, my rear splash guards of the um, panel truck. And um, also my rear barn doors. Painted those and everything. And um, it's another, what other piece we're going to be um, looking at. Um, and also my running boards. Yeah, so we're going to do running boards. Also, also, I put a stripe like a silver stripe down on the running board so we're going to do the running boards as well and get those painted up and then we're going to put them on the truck see how they look and um, i do a little walk around and um, hopefully everything will turn out good so you guys stay tuned for um let me see episode 14 as well i got a, another good one after this so i tell you what man i got i got a lot of good stuff man hopefully next week i get that video up for you guys but until then, let's go ahead and get into episode 13, and um, let's see how these running boards and the uh, rear barn doors, and also that splash guard turned out. <laughs> we check the surprise and we say we hear everything. I forget. I forgot. You must have thought you'd come to turn that place of flash for. You got it.
all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video so far as you see i got a small gap right there in that door which i took care of that very easy that hinge was actually kind of bent a little bit so i just heated it up and i bent it back and now those doors are straight as an arrow so that worked out really good that's a perfect seam there if you can put almost a paint stick in between those seams that's what you want right there so let's go ahead and do a little walk around so as you guys see now I got everything on the truck except the barn doors I put my running boards on I tell you whenever I modified those and did my test fitments they lined up really good actually the driver's side fit a little better than the passenger side but I was I was happy with that show you guys the seal plate I actually put the seal plate down in there I didn't show you guys the seats because I didn't do the seats um, I actually had my buddy at um, K and K upholstery junior he actually took care of my seats and he normally does my seats for me until I get me a new sewing machine he will be doing my seats he did a good job So don't forget, I want you guys to leave me some comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Did we knock it out the ballpark? We're almost there. And I also went on ahead and did the rear barn doors, the inside material. Just did a little small design, nothing special. All right, guys, hey, I'm back. I know it was a quick video, but I had to put that video out there. I want to try to get at least all the main components and compartments on you know on these episodes so you guys know that you know hey i'm not fooling around well, i do everything myself um now i have actually on this episode this is the most i've actually got any help as far as with the paint you know me and uh old counts customs he's helped me out a lot with the paint and stuff because you know with this panel truck man you, you guys can see my, my garage is just a two-bay garage here and stuff and i just um you know and i got another garage down at the bottom of the house down there you know, if you guys see down there, I got a two-car garage down there as well. But um, I do all my body work and stuff up here in this garage here. As you guys can see, I got my paint booth, <laughs> my makeshift paint booth up here and stuff. That's, uh, you know, just plastic and stuff that I put all around and drop it. And I, I got like a whole section that I have all my stuff going outside the fresh air. So, um, but with this, uh, but, hey, Counts Custom came through for me. Cause he got that big old paint booth over there and man it was so easy so comfortable I, I was getting i got kind of spoiled over there at this place so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it was just a short one um make sure you guys look hopefully maybe next week for episode 14 um to see what we're gonna do next and um, like i always tell people if you got a good cigar a fast car and truck smoke them if you got them baby mm -hmm.